Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to Next Gen PJ Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Today we are going to be going on an epic adventure at San Groper's The Great Aussie Journey. So really looking forward to this course, it has been recommended to me by a few of you, so let's take a look at the course settings. As always, we will be leaving everything at default. Fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speed is medium, time of day is dusk and clear. We do have three tee options, we are going to be playing from the gold tees which are playing 7,769 yards. Now I do believe our journey begins in Sydney and ends in New South Wales. I do believe that this course highlights some of Australia's major tourist attractions, some that you probably have heard of and some that you've never even knew existed. S-A-N-T, I think that is South Australian North Territory, but that certainly looks like Ayers Rock that we are faced upon here on the first hole. Absolutely stunning looking opening hole. This is kind of one of the courses I do really like to play and get my teeth into. Absolute laser beam to start things off. Long may that continue. My swing timing with the 60 hertz and the PlayStation 5 is just a hit or a miss at the moment, guys. But we do have 130 yards, up 6 feet, 7 mile per hour wind. So this pitching wedge is going to be absolutely perfect. Just applied an extra little bit of backspin there. We do only get the 97% power, though. That may come up short. Hopefully we get a fair kick out. We do. And that is going to give us a look at an opening birdie from 8 feet tight. Green speeds are 144, so the greens are fairly slow. Not a lot of movement in this one. Good read, good putt, and we do kick things off with an opening birdie. But guys, once again, I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. Why, look at this for a, a second hole. Right in the middle of the airport. 0-4. Like I say, some of these attractions are tourist attractions. I'll have no idea what they are, but I will leave the course description link in the video description for you guys to go and check out. This is a tough drive. I'm just going to apply a little bit of fade here against this wind, and hopefully we can find the left-hand side of this fairway. Come on, surely that's got a turn. Swinging well so far, to be honest. Once again, we're not getting the full power swings, 100%, and at times it is costly. Let's see if we can get this up towards the, the dance floor from the bunker. That's going to come up short. Hopefully we don't go from bunker to bunker here. Looks like we are. No, it's just going to check up, and that is going to leave us a splash shot from 18 yards out. This is an ideal distance to just go and attack the flag stick here. Not a bad execution. Oh, I tell you what, very fortunate that went in with a slight slow, but we will take it. And we do splash our way to two under par. So great start to the round. Two under through two. Couldn't have asked for any better. But I am really struggling with my swing timing at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't rear its ugly head too often in this round. But we do move on to hole number three. Stunning looking waterfall there with the bridge. I don't think we're going to be able to hit the big dog here. Let's just pull it back to the three wood. Try and find the centre of the fairway here. That five mile per hour wind is going to move us from right to left. Slight fast. Tell you what, that needs a kick. Looks like it may kick right. Oh, we just about skipped out of that heavy rough there. Very fortunate. This is a long par five. Certainly not going to reach this in two anyway. So driver off the deck. Really cool bridge that. Don't see that every day. Far see superior that. swing line and swing time in there. But once again, we are showcasing a new designer to the community. And his very creative course. The creativeness of some of these courses that I have played recently, guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely stunning. I take it this hole is based on some kind of waterfall. But yeah, the creativity from some designers that we've never heard of is just off the charts. This is a tough par 5. Still a lot of work to do here, so just going free hybrid. Try to float this into the green and see if we can get it near the, the flag stick. 
don't think you, uh, this should be good. Like this. this should be good. Oh my goodness, we needed another yard. Another yard, and that would have kicked really well up towards the pin for us. So it looks like we're going to be left with another splash. We've already splashed in on the second hole. Let's see if we can make it two for two. Good execution. Does it have the legs? No, that came up well short of the intended target. But we do have a simple tap in putt for par from seven feet. These greens are very, very slow at 144. Not a huge fan of these slow greens. I know the game classes this as mid-range, medium-speed greens, but to me, they're tediously slow. Hole number four, once again, tough tee shot. Got to really try and find fairway here. Down the left-hand side. There's a perfect. And that should work out really, really well, pardon me. And that should leave us a long iron into this fourth green. We're actually not as far out as I expected to be. One five one, seven mile per hour wind. So I think we can actually come down to the four iron. Just going to apply a little bit of extra backspin here and hope that wind does hang us up in the air. Good strike. Did pull it left though. Cool beach there past the hole. Stay up. This should be really, really good if it bites. Wow, that took a, a really unlucky kick off the fringe there. But we do have a makeable putt from 14 feet out, from 14 feet out, 19 feet out, up four inches. Not a lot of movement in this one. We got the weight right, have we got the read? We have got the read. And we do manage to pick up our third birdie off the round and move to three under par. Hole number five, look at this, wow. Certainly looks like the, the Sydney Opera House there. And I can't recall the, the name of the bridge. But these kind of holes are really exciting when you're on each and every tee box. You cannot wait to see what delights the, the designer is going to showcase in each and every single hole. I've been fortunate to, to visit Australia once. Adelaide. But yeah, that's definitely something similar to the, the Sydney Opera House. Very creative from the designer there with the, the sailing boats. But yeah, did did have the fortune to visit Adelaide, Australia for a week. Not under the best of circumstances though. But it is a lovely part of the world. That is a fantastic strike. This needs to get down and it should sit. That's right at the pin, by the way. Oh my goodness, we have dunked that in from almost 130 yards, I do believe that was. But we'll take the eagle. Fantastic approach shot there. Couldn't have played that any better, to be honest. Fantastic strike with a 9 iron. Eyes were on that all the way. And as soon as it bounced in the green, you knew it had a chance of dropping, and it did. So first eagle off the round. So very good start, actually. We are five under through five holes. Hole number six. Oh, wow, this is a tough tee shot. Bunkers in play, water in the right. You can easily lay up here, but you guys know I'm not going to lay up. I couldn't have hit that any better, but it's only 96% power. That is really leaking to the right. Didn't have the legs to get there. These 96% power, or lack of getting 100% power on shots is really starting to cost me at times. Just cannot seem to, to achieve consistent 100% power shots with a 60 hertz enabled. There's a huge slope. And that is going to come up short, right? But my game is just nowhere near as good as what it was on the PlayStation 4, to be honest. Um game looks so much better. It plays smoother, but just this 60 hertz, I'm really struggling to make the transition. That and a combination of the dual sense five. That's got a chance for the par. What a par this is, guys. Absolutely delighted to save the bogey there. Or should I say avoid the bogey and save the par. And with that, we remain at five under par. But this is such a cool course. Really, really enjoying it so far. No need to, to look at that. That's how bad we're playing. I, I do well. We're not playing bad at all, actually. We're five under through six. That was a great par save. And we do move on to hole number seven. This is a par three. Wow, look at this. This is obviously 
some stone structure of some kind. Like I say, I will leave the course description in the video description or the link to it where you guys can go and check it out over on TGC Tours. Four iron should be perfect here with that nine mile per hour wind in my face. Just going to apply a little bit of top spin. This ball should land short off the pin and hopefully try and run it up that slope. Good strike. I've pulled it ever so slightly to the left, but that won't really affect it. Has it got the legs to get there, though? It hasn't. Despite putting on some top spin, that is a really steep, steep slope that is defending that pin. 33 feet, up 2 feet. I think even with a 100% power swing, we weren't going to be getting up to the top of that. And I have really left that short. It's always going to be a possibility on these slow greens. I must have just played that at the start of the vibration. But once again, we do manage to drop the par save. And we are going to remain at 5 under par. So after a really good start, the birdie train has certainly slowed down. Hole number 8. Back-to-back -back par 3s. 194 yards. This 4 iron once again has got to be perfect. That wind is going to help us. Good bit of backspin here. Just try to land this. Oh, it's a slope. May still kick left, though. May get a favourable kick here. No, we've kicked right. And we are going to find ourselves in the light rough. But very good opportunity to chip in here. Good execution. Has it got the legs to get there? Oh, it's just going to come up short. It was really tracking well. Okay, and it is another part. So three consecutive pars on the trot here. After Can't a lightning start. Still, and we do move on to the final hole of the and front nine. But the variety in this course is absolutely spectacular. This is a short par five. Wow. Can't quite figure how this is a par five here. Oh, I'm not seeing a huge difficulty in this hole. We have managed to find the fairway, so I'm sure we can go and attack this island green, what it looks like. A really cool hole, by the way. 195 yards out. Ah, that's maybe why it's a par 5. That really is a fairly tight floating green. Absolutely cool. Look at the kangaroos surrounding the green. So, 4 iron. Why? How many times have we used this club today? There we go. That's money. This should kick right off this slope. Come on. Come on. Come back down towards the pin. This could work out really well if it keeps coming back. It is going to give us another look for Eagle. We've already achieved one Eagle today. Let's see if we can make it two Eagles. Slight downhill putt. 13 feet. Turning right to left here. Is it going to turn? Oh, it just grazes by the right edge of the cup. Disappointed not to pick up the eagle there, but we will convert that putt for the birdie. And a solid six under through the front nine. So really looking forward to what delights await us on the back nine here. Hole number 10, one of the wider fairways here. Just going to take this tee shot down the left hand side and allow that wind to take us over to the right. There is a huge slope. We're going to be fortunate to hold the fairway here. Huge slope and pull the extreme left. And this is now a long par 4. So that short par 5 kind of been evened out by this long par 4. Let's see if we can chase Freewood up onto the, the front of the dance floor here. There's a fast. Made a wrong May kick right. It does kick right. And that is a member's bounce if ever I've seen one. Oh, nice. But let's Good see if we can Good save this par Good once job. again. We have had to really scramble at times this round so far. Just going to splash this as close as possible. Oh, it's perfect execution. Go on, get in. Very good splash shot. Okay, and we should walk power. away once again with a power save from four feet out. Done. But yeah, off camera, guys, I've had so many rounds recently the last couple of days where my swing time, and I've never calibrated my, right. my swing as often as what I've done. I think my record was eight times in one day. But why? Not sure which Australian landmark this feature is meant to resemble, but very cool. I will 
be checking out the course description in more detail myself. But let's see if we can get this close here. Really loving the variety of the course, especially in the par threes. Oh, I've hit that well. This should be money with the yardage. Should get a good firm bounce here. Go on, get in the hole. And that is a really good strike. And that close approach off the tee box has rewarded us with our first birdie off the back nine. And we do move to seven under par with two back-to-back -back par fives coming up here. Hole number 12, wow, look at this guys, this really is spectacular. Very tight landing zone here, hazards all the way down the right, water and play down the left hand side, so we're just going to try and fade this down the centre of the fairway, slight slope, are we going to avoid the bunkers on the right hand side? Go on ball, sit down, sit down, we just avoid that bunker, and it is going to leave us another long shot. The hazards are everywhere here, I'm just going to come back to the 5 wood. Lay up, because that three wood is 100% leaking me into those bunkers. And that should leave us a wedge, a full wedge, into this green. Oh, that needs to stop. We are going to have a huge slope at our feet here. So that slope's going to take us hard left. We've got a five mile per hour wind on our face. Pitching wedge is absolutely made for this. Down 16 feet. I'm just going to go full backspin here. The slope at our feet will carry us an extra few yards as well but it's really going to move us hard left oh that's a fast that is going to be way off target Let's go yardage would have been really good it may spin a little bit didn't spin at all and this is now a 31 foot putt for the bird here breaking multiple ways just favoring the left side of the cup is that going to come back? It's tracking well. Go on, get in, get in. Ah, oh, that really sums up my golf just now, guys. So near, yet so far away. Four inches from dropping there. And we are going to remain at seven under par. It's never a good feeling getting par on a par five. But I tell you what, some of these par fives are absolute monsters. And once again here, very narrow, tight tee shot here. We do manage to get the perfect. It's leaking left though due to my swing line. But let me know guys if you have got a PlayStation 5 or maybe you're just on the PlayStation 4 and with the 60 hertz, does it affect your gameplay? Because it certainly affects my, uh, affects my swing timing and my ability to achieve 100% power shots. Just going to chase up this 5 wood. Should be good. Slight fast but that should really work out. This should kick hard right off this green. Hopefully it holds. I actually kicked left. How on earth did that kick left? I could have swore that was going to kick right. But we are up there. It is going to leave us a chip shot. I think gap wedge. A little bit of top spin here. Should be perfect. We are going to land on that downhill slope. Will hold us up. Oh, 94%. That's going to come up short. But yeah, as you can see, guys, just really struggling with try to execute 100% power swings here but we do tap it in for the birdie we move to eight under par and hole number 14 is a par three playing 200 it's a par four okay wow i can only imagine this is a par four due to the the very small green here that we've got to land on but five wood a little bit of backspin should be perfect great execution by the way Oh, this is on a really good line. We may have Sergio Garcia this. Go on. Oh, it's starting to leak right. What a fantastic tee shot, though. And that is going to be a tapping eagle. I'm convinced the, the designer could have easily made that a par three. But I do understand with it being a tight landing zone there. He has made it a par four. But hole number 15. It's another long par four. There's an absolute laser beam. I, I don't know what I need to do to achieve that on a regular basis, guys. Like I say, swing timing, swing line, everything is just um, off the boil at the moment. But that's left us 183 yards. Just going to try and draw this from right to left up into the top tier. 
to that green next to the pin. Pushed it slightly right. It's trying to turn hard left, but it's just going to come up long and right. But it should leave us another chipper splash from just off the green here. In all fairness, this course does offer a good challenge, especially off the tee box. Let's see if we can chip this in with the Sam Wedge. Just going to apply a little bit of D-loft here to give it the extra carry. Huge slow, that'll come up right now. Had to wait to we do tap in the par putt from three feet out. But this really is a fantastic course, guys. Some of the holes just look absolutely stunning. I can assure you the course plays as good as it looks. Here's a prime example. Look at this. Is that like an alligator-shaped flower bed? That is amazing. So try to set this down the right hand side of that alligator or crocodile, I'm not sure nice which is which. They, I couldn't tell the difference. And I like the wind to bring us back, which it has done perfectly. We're certainly not reaching this this green in two. Alrighty. Second shot on the 16th. Oh wow, look at that layout. Absolutely superb. Four iron, bunkers are in play there. So we're just going to come six iron and hopefully leave ourselves a wedge across the water. Great strike. Long may that continue. Should kick right. Don't kick into the bunker. Unfortunately, we do find fairway. Setting up for but so impressed with this course. Let's have a quick look at this green. There has been a few island greens or floating greens, but look at that with the bridge and the, the lily pads incorporated. That just, just looks like a postcard that you'd be sending home. Postcard perfect. So nine iron. Don't want to go too far past the pin here. Just going to almost apply full backspin. Get this landing short off the pin by a few yards and hopefully it sits down. Oh, it's a great strike. This should be all over it. Oh, yeah. this one's Needs to get down. Hopefully it checks up. Get in the hole. That took a really firm bounce for normal greens there. Wow, and with that, that ball is trickled all the way off the green. Find that slope. Very unfortunate there. Didn't expect a, a kick like that. Let's see if we can splash this one because our chip shots have been coming up really short this round. We have had a nice splash in for Eagle. I think that was the second hole. Let's see if at very least we can get this close. Decent execution and it just comes up short left. But we are going to be tapping that in for another par. I think that's two of the par fives we've we've only achieved to get par on, but they are monster par fives. Five hybrid, just slightly de-lofted here, three hybrid even, 195 yards should be good. Wind should move us just enough to try and get near the flag. Slight slope. The wind is not going to take that. We should still find the green comfortably, but it is going to be a nasty putt. But I do think this epic journey involves traveling 23,341 kilometers. I do apologize. I've got no idea what that is in miles. But yet, yeah, this has been such a cool adventure here. Really need to give this a fair welly to get up this slope with these greens. Don't think it's going to turn back enough. No. And that is just going to leave us with a tap in putt for par. And we are going to move down the 18th hole at 10 under par. Cannot wait to see what this final hole is. Also, what I know is we are now in New South Wales. We started this journey on the first hole at Sydney. And we're now in New South Wales. Australia is a massive country, by the way. And that is a huge slope. Just my game is all over the shop at the moment, especially with the swing timing. Just cannot seem to get a rhythm or any consistency going. But let's see if we can save another par. Our scrambling today has been fantastic, to be all, to be very honest. If you told me 10 under before we teed off here on the master difficulty, I would have took it. So 7 iron, get the perfect. It's not going to get up towards the pin. It's going to leave us a nasty uphill putt here. So 39 feet, up 2 feet. On these slow greens, this can be a nightmare. Don't want to leave it short. I've overhit that. 
Go on, hit the pin, hit the pin, hit the pin, hit the pin. It has hit the pin. Fortunately, that did hit the pin. Maybe on another day it may have dropped. But on another day it could have went off the green. But there you go, guys. A 63, 10 under. Not my best round. I am really struggling with my swing timing. But that is it for today's round. Get out there and play this course. The great Aussie journey is such a fantastic and unique course. But until the next video, guys, take care. Peace out. And love you all. Bye.